the sheer enormity and complexity and beauty of the Word of God overwhelms me whenever I read the texts for a Sunday or any other time. There is endless study to be done, endless imagining to be done, endless awe to have, and um, I can't think of a better place to spend my life. Quite honestly, um, I teach because I really believe that worship is at the center of the church's life. And I um, encountered over the years a lot of occasions when it would sound to me that pastors were not um, were not there. <laughs> they were putting together the service on Sunday evening or Saturday evening or thinking about their sermon on Saturday morning, not having looked at the texts earlier in the week. This is all part of that being about other things. And um, those other things are also important, but this is the person called to word and sacrament ministry. And that's the person's primary job. The pastor's primary work is, is preaching and worship. So to have that tossed in at the end of the week, just before the first day of the week, the eighth day of the week, it, 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 doesn't, it doesn't serve the church. And I wanted to teach that. I wanted to say, you've got to start wasting time on these things that you think are eh, not that important. They're, they're the most important.